This is the new man entrusted with the nation's defence. One important question. Do you know enough about defence, Grant Shapps? Rishi Sunak has decided the answer is yes, appointing Grant Shapps as his defence secretary. A safety first appointment. Mr Shapps is a long trusted ally of the Prime Minister and a serial minister. This his fifth job in just 12 months. But there is no defence or foreign affairs experience on his CV. Defence figures for the impact of inexperience. Now we have a new defence secretary who knows very little about defence and it's a complex portfolio. It will take him quite some time to get up to speed. I think there is a risk that uh, certainly the debate on resources for defence stagnates, at least until Grant Chaps can get his head around his portfolio. Would you like more money for defence? Meeting his latest set of new officials, this defence secretary more likely to find peace with Number 10 than his predecessor. Ben Wallace was never shy to flaunt his military credentials and became the longest-serving Conservative defence secretary. He announced his plan to resign before the summer and quit today with a public warning for his government. I genuinely believe that over the next decade, the world will get more insecure and more unstable. We both share the belief that now is the time to invest. That move left a vacancy at the cabinet table filled by another arch loyalist of the Prime Minister. New Energy Secretary Claire Coutinho was only elected in 2019 and became Rishi Sunak's top aide in Parliament now catapulted into Cabinet. Rishi Sunak has promoted his closest allies into key Cabinet jobs, but not everybody is happy. One Tory MP dismissed the reshuffle as uninspiring, complaining that Number 10 had not dealt with more Cabinet ministers that they think are problems. And bitterness is rife. One member of the government dismissed Grant Shapps as an encyclopedia salesman a reminder that Rishi Sunak sometimes struggles to take his party with him. Labour says this reshuffle won't solve the country's problems. I think that it doesn't matter how often they reshuffle the jobs or Rishi Sunak finds another mate to help and to give a new job to. The fact is they are just reshuffling the deck chairs. The ship is going down. This reshuffle was much smaller than billed before the summer and others now expected later this year. The full reset delayed and the Prime Minister needs his fortunes to change fast.